In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, as fall starts to show her true colors, we prepare the RV for the upcoming winter elements, and the framers finally arrive to start our 8,000 square foot shop house and get it standing in less than 10 days. Click the link above if you missed out on our last video. They're probably like, oh my gosh, this wasn't here before. This is from our living room windows in the motor room. down our driveway and walked right in front of the motorhome. It's funny, I got the alert that there was something in the driveway <laughs> and I didn't look. <laughs> oh, hi babies. And that was a different pair. I said it was, it was earlier. <laughs> well, good afternoon. Yesterday, the framers totally finished framing. However, the rain started coming in uh, last night and it's been raining really, really hard. So I can't even begin to tell you how excited we were when these guys showed up. Uh, we didn't even know the roofers were uh, going to arrive today. Uh, they got here at about mm -hmm. 1 o'clock or so, maybe a little sooner than that. But it was like a permagrin, like, oh, are we glad to see you? Because the, it was raining inside the house. But uh, so they've been at it for the past couple of hours, putting the under lamp laminate on the roof. And so it's not raining as hard inside. Uh, of course, our big windows are still letting in the rain, but uh, for the most part, they're getting it dried in. Uh, so we don't have much more water intrusion. Kind of nice when it's not raining inside. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can take a bit for it to dry out because it's cold and it's a lot of moisture up there. Well, and it rained a good deal. It rained a lot more than it thought. So we're upstairs, and as you can tell, our mezzanine area is soaked, and uh, the family room is soaked. But yesterday, this place was a sawdust mess and the framers were here till 10 o'clock in the evening cleaning up and thank god they did they beat the weather they knew they knew this was coming and so it could be a hundred times worse but uh it's not because they stayed finished up the job and uh it's it's looking nice the nice thing is is even though this wood floor up here is getting wet uh, we're gonna put um, well radiant heat up here, and that includes a layer of gypcrete, which is like a concrete, a lighter light weight concrete surface, um, on top of this floor. So this won't be our final floor. The, the gypcrete will actually be our final floor. So if this does take some water damage, it's not a big deal. Well, and the first time we turn on that system, if there is any moisture in the wood, it'll dry out. It'll be gone. Yeah. Yep. Not worried about it. Not yeah. worried about it. Not worried about it. It's a little chilly. I think the roofers are just taking a taking a break right now. It's dinner time, five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock. Yep. Okay. The power company just came and dug in 
our line from our meter to the road and they'll be back tomorrow to uh, cross, cross the road and, and connect. And we actually, they actually have our, our two meter heads and they'll slap them in the box and power will be on tomorrow. I'm so excited. So then that means next step, which the electrician's supposed to be out this week anyways. Yep. Uh, he can get possibly maybe get some power to the motorhome. That would be nice because we're still really off grid right now, living on our batteries. Generator is actually running right now. Yep, I'm doing a load. Your, I mean, I'm doing laundry. a load of laundry. So <laughs> he's like, oh, you know the generator's on. Why don't you do some laundry? Not that I. Would. That's her job. But <laughs> I get yelled at when I do it. Let's go over and see if we can see the underlayment uh, over the toy shed. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. So this is what they're putting down. Two, uh, two products. This is the uh, ice shield kind of stuff, the black stuff. And then the gator skin is just a, another, another, the other Part of the exactly so as, you, that, as you can see they're they're laying it here they've got this side done i haven't seen if the other side of the toy shed's done but and they're working on the shop uh, yeah and uh most of the house i believe is done so I, believe so. I still see some raindrops coming through but nothing like it was earlier yeah, yeah. And they look like they got the snow and ice shield on the garage already. And then that'll just be a quick wrap with the other other product too. So this is good. We're getting there. A couple other things that they uh, the framers did since I did our last little walkthrough is in the kitchen here, right here. This is the support wall for our tall island, the kitchen island. We're gonna have one section at 42 inches and then the regular counter behind it will be at 38. We like our counters two inches taller than normal. So that is in place. And then also we had them build this platform right here. This is what our wood stove is gonna sit on uh, in the living room. But everything is looking amazing. There's our view. Um, the mountains are obviously aren't out today because it is raining, but still have a gorgeous view of the backyard and the pretty fall trees. We've lost most of our leaves. Another real cool thing we're gonna do is, I don't know if you can see this framing here. We're gonna have some peekaboo um, slats in the wall. So it's not just a giant wall to be able to see through to the staircase and let light into the staircase. And this is the entryway. That will be our front door. Big wide entryway. All right, time to go in. I am cold. Well, actually, let's just show you what the shop looks like now that it's all closed in. It's pretty cool. This is a uh, Gary's workshop, and it will be fully insulated basically like an inside space. Right, uh, on our separate heating zone than the outside shop over here, so I can warm that zone area. I can warm that zone more than out here to work on toys and machines yep. and whatever else I need to work on. And out here is uh, where our ATVs, snow machines, and uh, LC will reside, most likely. Mm -hmm. And then out here, guys, this is the cool part. This is where the RV, the motorhome, and the boat will live. Uh, this building here is 40 by 50 and our doors are 14 feet so we've got really good clearance any uh, fifth wheel will fit in here and then we this is our mechanical room and we have plans for right out here to do a shop bar Sound um, system or speaker system, stereo system in here. And I can see Super Bowls stuff. happening in here. We don't watch football. We'll just have parties in here. How about we'll have Gonzaga watch parties? All right, there you go. We can't give up Zags. No. No. Nope. All right, there we have it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick little walkthrough. Um, 
it's just, it's been a lot of excitement the past two and a half weeks. It is. I mean, holy cow, they did this in two and a half weeks. Yeah. I mean, it started in first wall, went up two and a half weeks ago, and now yeah. we're standing in a building that's getting its getting roof. roof put on. That's amazing. And just yesterday, they finished sheeting the roof. So, I mean, every day it's like boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And our builder told us that would happen once things started rolling. And I'm glad it's uh, happening. Well, it needs to happen because, uh, well, it's, just, it's not as cold now as what it was last week. But Winter's coming. We've yeah. already had our first snowfall. But they say right now this is a pineapple express. It's still cold. Well, the, but it is wet. The nighttime temperatures aren't getting down to where they used where they were last no. week. I mean, it was 39 degrees last night for the low, but only 43 for the high today. So, however, um, last week it was 16. Last week the lows were 16 yeah. and a lot of low, low, low 20s. So yeah. it's warmed up a little bit. All right, time to go warm up. Yep. Talk to you guys later. Well, good morning from sunny, beautiful Houston, Alaska. And Sophie here has her brand new puffy jacket on and her mittens. Um, she's only worn these once about eight months ago. So I don't think she remembers what it's like, but I thought I would share with you all this traumatizing experience. It's actually pretty not cold out. It's like, I'd say in the high 30s right now. So, uh, we'll see how she does. Uh, when we had practice runs in the spring, she didn't do so well. No, did we? Look what we got. These are for Sophie. These are little dog shoes for Sophie. Let's see how this goes. What are they, Sophie? Oh, I think you kind of know something's up, huh? Velcro them, and just like a real shoe, there's like a tongue, but that would be where her ankle is. Okay, hey, let's put it on. One shoe's on. <laughs> she doesn't quite know what's going on. Okay, all four dogs are on the paws. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> treat come here come here baby <laughs> well two of them came off i think there's still two now on she's holding her back like up like what's going on sophie come here come here <laughs> Okay, can I sign off? <laughs> 
type round two with snow boots. These are actually fabric booties with little like non-slip polka dots. Uh, so there's no hard sole like before. Oh, you're shaking. Before, um, it was really hard for her to walk in. Now, she's not walked in this yet. <laughs> you're shaking. <laughs> but I have treats. I have treats. Okay, come here. Good job. Okay, let's throw it far. <laughs> she still doesn't size step. Come here, ready? Go get it. <laughs> yeah. At least you don't go clop, 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 clop. Those are much better. Good job. All right, good girl. I think you're ready for Alaska now. We're just waiting for daddy to come outside to join us because I wouldn't dare do this without him witnessing. You ready? What do you think she's gonna do, daddy? Oh, I just wonder how fast does she run for me, but you haven't put her down yet? No, I was gonna wait for you. She's severely traumatized right now. <laughs> Shaking in her boots. Right. Here we go. Nice All right. Here we go. Hi, Sophie. Come on, Soph. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. For her to just stand there and not follow us is highly abnormal. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, pumpkin. Come on. Sophie, come on. Come on, baby. Sophie. Come on. Good girl. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, Soph, Soph. Good girl. Look at that. Good girl. She's actually doing way better than I expected. <laughs> I wonder if she realizes it's all even warmer now. It's kind of not bad. <laughs> Good job, so. That's the most normal we've seen her walking shoes. Good job, Sophie. Biggest snowfall of the winter so far. Oh, two inches! Woohoo! Supposedly, we're gonna lose it tomorrow. It's supposed to be 36 today and in the mid 40s and rain tomorrow and Saturday. We'll see. I'm not gonna plow. I, if it does get icy and shitty, crappy, oops, then it'll make a nice firm surface for plowing next time. 
I keep telling them this isn't Spokane it's snow. It. It's two inches. It's going to bite them in the butt. Nothing like shoveling out the living room. As we start the month of November, the plumbers arrive, as does the snow. Well, good morning. Today is November 12th, and over the last, oh, 36 hours or so, we received a total of nine inches, according to my handy tape measure, in a couple places on the property. And with that dumping, we are just, uh, doing some preventive maintenance so when it comes time to move into our shop we can get the motorhome out of its current placement in the RV lot so Gary today uh, it's a beautiful even though it's cloudy is it's finally stopped snowing Gary is up on the roof clearing the roof not for weight just to keep us clear and make our job easier when we do get the go ahead that we can move inside the shop. So that's the goal today. Um, I have been making sure the vehicles stay clear in case we have to run to town in any sort of emergency or quick notice. So that's been kind of my job, but um, it's definitely a winter wonderland give you a view here of what it looks like. Gary did spend most of the day yesterday uh, plowing the driveways just because we are expecting workers possibly today with our windows. There's a look of our driveway and we do have a visitor on property right now. Let me see if I can zoom in. That, my friends, is a bald eagle in our front yard. He's just hanging out on top of a black spruce tree over by our two-car garage. So that's him right up there. But no worries, Sophie is inside, safe and sound. She came out, did her business, and quickly went back inside. Uh, she definitely doesn't loiter. Uh, she wants in and she wants out. Oh! What are you doing? Why you do that? <laughs> Well, we succeeded at clearing off the roof. Sophie says she's done. 
And now we are just sitting outside enjoying the sunny day and having a fire. I'm pretty proud of the fire. I made it myself. Uh, Gary is finishing up plowing over by the house just in case our windows do show up today. Considering it's already like one o'clock and we haven't seen anyone, I highly doubt we will see a delivery, but you never know. We've had some late deliveries before, so we'll just cross our fingers and see. If not, I expect it's gonna be really busy around here come Monday. A couple days later, as we were driving into town, we had the most beautiful alpen glow at sunset. And as we were driving down the highway, the moon started rising at the exact same time. And we had to pull over and show it to you. It was spectacular. That moonrise was amazing. And we had to pull over so we could get it for you guys. Holy cow, spectacular. Have I said it's magical living here? As with everything in 2021 and building, the windows are delayed. Go figure, we're getting used to it. But we are enjoying the progress as we come in every day and see what they're doing. Right here, they're just getting ready to hang sheetrock so then the insulation can go on the walls. It's time to button this house up because it's getting cold. All right, we'll show you what else we got going on. We've been parking the ATVs here in the shop. Just makes it a little bit warmer. Had a couple of doors delivered. These are exterior doors. And right now they are sheeting to get ready for insulation. We got some more done from this morning. Their scaffolding isn't tall enough, so they gotta go get another level of scaffolding to finish off. But uh, it's coming along. Today is a good day. Why is that, Gary? There's a whole bunch of windows and some sliding doors right here. That's really good news. Our, our window package is in. Yes. Just another magical moment that we wanted to share with you. This was taken at 3.30 in the afternoon as we were headed into Anchorage. Just another beautiful sunset. As you can see, Sophie is learning how to walk in her little booties just fine. She adapted to them pretty well. Go party. It's now the week of Thanksgiving and we still have lots to do. First up, get more propane for the RV. This week we also started the spray foam insulation in the RV shop. And I have to give them credit. They were battling very, very cold temperatures. And we were so, so excited when our framer showed up on Thanksgiving morning and installed all of our windows. Truly a blessing. Gary and I would just like to say thank you for uh, being a part of this new channel. The growth this past week has been amazing to watch and uh, we just want to say thank you. We hope you like what we're putting out and uh, 
we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Next time on Living Free Alaska, we hit our coldest temps yet at a negative 20 degrees below zero while still trying to live in our motorhome. With the house insulation sprayed in, we are one step closer to moving into our newly built shop. And with the holidays just around the corner, we take you to a couple of surrounding communities to celebrate the holidays. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.